Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So guys, as the title says, I'm going to be feeding three of my scorpions today. And these are the only three smaller scorpions I have in my collection. So, first up will be my Antrodotinus Australasia Hector. Um, not very big. This one is around about the inch, inch and a half. Which is the same size as this one here that's just moving around. This one is my... Antrodotinus Louisville. So you've got this one here and this one are roughly the same size. And then last but not least is my Antrodotinus Genetti. I do apologise if I keep butchering that name, Antrodotinus, but I keep getting it wrong. And it's just hiding under that slate there. This one is only around about the centimetre, so this one here is uh, very, very small. And as you know, guys, I still have these little meal worms. They're just a little smaller version of the Mario worm or super worm. Um, I paid £2.10 and pence for these, so which is around about two and a half, three dollars US. So yeah, these are uh, fantastic for uh, feeding your small tarantulas or small scorpions. So while we're here, guys, let's get started. So guys, there is my Hector. i just uh, taken the lid off and it comes shooting out of its uh, hide. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's only small. Like I said, around about an inch, inch and a half. Not a scorpion you'd like to get stung by, so I always use my tongs when I'm feeding these scorpions. So hopefully it might take the superworm down, or mealworm. Let's just move that water dish to one side. Let's get a... Why don't you get a small, very, very small one? Hopefully we should get a, an attack. This scorpion is looking a little bit chunky, so it might not be hungry, but uh, always worth a try. Absolutely beautiful tail. You just have to be a little bit patient when you're feeding scorpions doesn't seem that interested at the moment but you can see how chunky that scorpion is yeah, it definitely knows it's there just give that worm a little touch Doesn't like this one's hungry, I'm afraid, guys. I do say that scorpions don't have the biggest appetite, unfortunately. Let's just move that worm just in front one last time. And if it doesn't take it down, I'll top up the water dish and. Uh, Go on to the next scorpion. No. Oh well guys, never mind. I'll just take that. Take the worm out. And I'll just top up that water dish. And we'll move on to the next one. So guys, with the water dish full, let's just put that lid back on. And these little enclosures are fantastic for small tarantulas or small scorpions. You can see the ventilation holes either side. If I just turn this one around, yeah, you can see the ventilation holes. So 
yeah these enclosures are fantastic and you can also just open this part of the actual lid as well so with that lid on let's go on to the next one so guys next up is my Louis Villa and like I said this one is roughly about the same size as a hecto if I'll just zoom in for you guys there it is just there nowhere near fully grown these do grow fairly slow to be fair I think I need to uh, up the temperature on my heat cable so let's get a worm and let's give it a feed so guys here goes yes and we have an attack at last that's any trouble problem with like male worms and super worms they are they're a bit a bit slippery <laughs> they're actual oh I have to keep turning the enclosure to so the scorpion keeps moving but it's having a it's having a good fight with it oh there we go Hopefully this scorpion will start eating soon. So guys, left it for around about 10-15 uh, minutes and as you can see, this beautiful scorpion is starting to eat its meal. It's actually stung the worm twice. Unfortunately I didn't get that on camera as you can, can probably tell. But um, yeah, beautiful little scorpion eating its meal. So I think I'll leave it alone now guys. Uh, let's go on to the next one. So guys, last but not least is my Ginetti, and like I said, it's underneath this slate here. And I'll just put the slate in and let the scorpion do its own thing. So if I just move the slate, and there is the scorpion. So guys, here it goes. It's very difficult to get any clear footage because this one is a very small scorpion so the more you zoom in it goes a bit pixelated and I'll be surprised if this one's not hungry but we'll give it a couple of goes second time guys no doesn't seem interested at the moment. And can you believe it, guys? This light is supposed to be a scorpion light. <laughs> and the scorpion keeps walking away from it. So, let's just move it to there. Third time lucky. And, no, not interested. Oh, well, guys, that's just the way it goes, unfortunately. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks for watching, everyone.